Motion on childcare. Thank you. I give the call to the member for Moncrief. Uh, I move that the, uh, the motion relating to childcare in the terms in which it appears on the notice paper. But the coalition has a strong record when it comes to delivering for Australians. And during our time in government, we doubled the investment in the early childhood education sector to $11 billion in 2022 and 23. And we also did something that Labor never did, and that's delivering ongoing preschool funding. Uh, we locked in uh, four-year preschool reform agreements with states and territories, uh, which uh, drives greater participation, especially for Indigenous and disadvantaged children. We undertook the biggest reforms to the childcare system in over 40 years, replacing a complex system with one that was better targeted, measured and provided more support to families. Uh, under us, 280,000 more children were able to access early childhood education. We abolished the annual cap on the childcare subsidy and since March of this year we have provided a higher subsidy for up to 95 per cent of families with multiple children. This targeted support also helped bring down the cost of care, with June 2022 CPI data showing childcare costs decreased 4.6 per cent. When COVID hit, many industries, including the ECEC sector, were hit hard, and our $3.2 billion investment into the ECEC sector throughout the pandemic kept services viable and educators employed. This funding also ensured families could continue to access care preventing sector collapse and kept services open, especially for vulnerable children and children of essential workers. This included three months of free childcare during 2020, the waiving of gap fees in COVID-related instances and the increased number of allowable absences days from 42 to 52. We saw women's workforce participation reach record highs at 62.3 per cent when we left government in May 2022 compared to 58.7 per cent when Labor left office. I'm proud of our record in this space, as we should be. But I'm also concerned for the future of the sector under this Albanese government, because we had a plan, a good one, and it's clear from what we've seen that this government doesn't have one. This government has no plan to address rising costs, no plan to address lack of access, uh, and no plan to address current workforce concerns. And this government has been full of sweeping statements. No family will be worse better off. Fees won't increase. This policy won't have an effect on inflation. We'll have enough workers in the sector to meet demand. All sweeping statements. But they've had, they haven't done any of the work to back those statements up. The opposition and many others in this place are very, very concerned about this policy. We're concerned there are not enough places for the additional children that may flood the system after July 1 next year, and 9 million Australians currently live in a childcare desert. That's 9 million Australians who, if they have a child, will not be better off under this policy because they can't access care to begin with. We've asked time and time again about Labor's plan to address access issues, and they've provided simply nothing. We're also concerned about how educators will meet the increased supply of children from July 1. And Good Start Early Learning says there are 7,200 current vacancies in the sector, and some believe that to be underrepresented, up, underrepresented and there could be up to 20,000, which is a huge number, Deputy Speaker. And yet the government has no plans to fill those gaps and get new educators into the sector by July 1. The last time Labor was in government, childcare fees skyrocketed by 53 per cent in just six years. We brought costs down, but, but uh, with fee increases expected, it's likely that some of the additional subsidies will be eroded, leaving families worse off. Labor's policy is full of empty promise and baseless statements, something I'm sure the 2024 review will shine a light on. The coalition wants to see uh, the government do more to address concerns raised by educators, the sector and, of course, by families. We want to see more done for those ac access to regional Australia, to those communities who are doing it tough, to those communities who currently don't have access to early learning centres. There is no infrastructure in some of those, uh, so, some of those communities in regional and remote Australia. And we want to see that improved, particularly when there's $4.7 billion being invested in the sector. We want to see a plan that will increase access and a plan to increase the pipeline of educators uh, and retain them in the sector. Otherwise, this policy will not deliver on the promises that they've sold to Australians, leaving many children, families and the sector much worse off. So more access, 
$4.7 billion, not one extra place from this government. We want to see greater access for families across the country, uh, and we want to see infrastructure investment in more centres around the country so that more families uh, can get back into work and uh, send their kids to childcare. Thank you.